Well, I thought I'd uh, share uh, about all my cooking yesterday. Friday's preparation day for the Sabbath. So let's see what I made. Ah. Well, as usual, I cut up a bunch of uh, things for salad, like there's tomatoes. Here's some green pepper that I roasted in the oven. I don't eat fried foods anymore, so everything is usually baked or boiled. Now, this is some cabbage I bought on sale at Aldi. What I do is I mix that with um, some coconut milk, which is my mayonnaise substitute. And, uh, you know, black pepper, things like that. Some, um, some horseradish. Now... This, don't get the wrong idea, it's not chocolate. These are cookies, peanut butter cookies, but I replaced the oil, most of the oil, with applesauce instead. So they're not crispy, but um, they're kind of cake-like. They are delicious, of course. Cookie making is very time consuming because you have to form each little one. Now the most interesting thing I made yesterday is this. Let's, whoa. <laughs> Let's get a good look at it. I had a recipe uh, for some kind of Brazilian cheese bread. And it was on the back of a tapioca flour bag. Let me get that. Here it is. Anyway, of course, I did lots of substitutions because I like to be creative and I like it to be healthy. So I did what it said. I put one egg in it. And instead of the olive oil, I put coconut milk. Instead of the dairy milk, I put almond milk. I did use the tapioca flour, yes. And instead of the cheese, I put coconut, shredded coconut. So all I did was, like this said, I mixed it all together. And let me show you what it looks like on the other side. The reason it's in that shape is I baked it. I baked it in this bowl with some parchment paper in it, and then I took that bowl and I put about two inches of water in a, another glass bowl, which is which was a little larger. I didn't want any of this to burn, and uh, it came out like this. Now, the reason I have it cut in six pieces is because coconut milk is, uh, not coconut milk, coconut shreds are very fattening, they have a lot of fat in it, and I don't want too much fat with each piece. So, the, the hard thing that some people might, might not like about uh, doing this is the calculations I have to make. So I calculated the fat calories in those peanut butter cookies, which came out to 20 calories from fat in each cookie. So I wouldn't eat more than, you know, like four of them, four or five each time. And when I calculated the amount of fat in this coconut uh, creation, one-sixth of the of the whole thing would be 75 calories from fat. So, so one section or one and a half sections would be enough, in my opinion, because I don't think we should have more than 100 calories from fat, maybe 150 with each meal, because, um, you know, it's not good for a cardiovascular system. It could make you nauseous if you have gallbladder problems. And it puts on a lot of weight, and for what? So, what does this taste like? 
the best description I have of this is it tastes like a coconut candy without the sugar. So it's like, it's like not exactly savory and not exactly sweet. It's somewhere in the middle. Anyway, I like it. It feels good to create things, especially healthy things. And um, that's the main things I made yesterday. Uh, Friday's hard. It's a lot of time on my feet to preparing for Sabbath, but then you get to relax and have fun and and uh, catch up on, on your thinking uh, on the Sabbath. Uh, happy Sabbath to you.